Well, here we are at Fire Trace, Stan. I'm joined by Tim Melton, and we're about to find out what this little red wire can do for the fire industry. Um, so, Tim, quickly walk us through what Fire Trace is doing here today, and then perhaps you can explain the wizardry behind this. What fire Trace is all, around, all about is uh, taking uh, a tube and stretching it around a known risk area. So if we have a risk like our electrical panel here, we can take our tubing and we can insert that all around where we perceive our fire may start. Uh, and what we can do is connect that tube back to some type of extinguishing. In this case, it's extinguishing of Novec. And I'll tell you a bit about the Novec in a moment. So uh, what's clever about our tubing is it's pressurized. There's no moving parts in our cylinder. And I have a small sample here so I can actually show you what happens inside the tubing. So if, our, if a flame comes too close to our tubing, like this one here, we can sense it, and there, the tubing That work, everyone up. Burst, yeah. <laughs> so what happens now, we have a nozzle formed by the fire, and we can start to deploy the extinguishing in the right place. Right, OK. So this fire extinguisher here is actually full of Novak, and once a fire starts, you can get a hole in the pipe, and then it will be literally extinguished. So if I show you how effective the, the Novak is, if we set fire to our, our, imaginary, our imaginary electrical panel problem, yeah. So uh, we get our fire established. So a very small amount of this Novak extinguishing in the right place should deal with that fire very quickly. That's amazing. So it's even managed, the Novak has actually put out the flame through a plastic bottle. Because yeah, it's breathed in the vapor part of it. And what's clever about the Novak is it doesn't conduct electricity. So if we have a look at uh, our oh. laptop computer. Oh my God, what's he doing? He's, he's, he's breaking his laptop. <laughs> There's no conduction there. There's no damage to the parts of the panel. So it's a very simple way. Deal with the fire. There's no damage. That's pretty impressive. The other part of our system is what's important with electrical fire is we may have found the fire, dealt with it, but we need to make steps to turn off the electricity. So we introduce a switch to our system here. Now this switch is being held in position by the pressure. So the moment that tubing bursts, or if anything goes wrong with the system, if the pressure drops, we'll open that set of contacts and that can be used to raise the alarm or ideally take away the power source to make sure the problem doesn't, doesn't come back. So hopefully we have a really simple system where we detect the fire, extinguish it, and then make sure we stop the process or trigger the alarm to make sure it doesn't come back. That sounds, that is fantastic. It, it does seem very simple, but also very clever at the same time. Now, what kind of um, industries is this actually used in at the moment? So I've sh shown you solely on the electrical at the moment. We do a lot of vehicles. We use the same system to go around things like forklift trucks or vehicles, uh, buses. We also do lots of machining centers, uh, industrial applications, all sorts of uh, areas where fires can be in hidden away or in closed environments. We tend to work inside the application rather than the whole room itself. So we're looking to identify the risk and then deal with that at source rather than relying on a detector which may be outside the initial, the initial risk area. Yeah, at which point it's too late and you've already lost your uh, you know, application. About keeping the fire small. If we can deal with the fire before it's had a chance to leave its enclosure, then obviously the damage should be less mm -hmm. uh, and the repair should be less. There's a photograph here, I'm not sure you can see it. Of, um, here's a successful area where we had a deployment. There was an electrical fire here. The tubing is burst. Obviously, the, the customer can just change this element and he can be back online very quickly. Alternatively, maybe to lose the entire panel, like in this picture, that's, this could be a very expensive means of, uh, of getting the system back on. He could be uh, without his process for, for days. Mm -hmm. So often our systems are there to protect the process, not always the actual establishment itself, but it's the process which is important to us. And I mean, obviously now, you know, living in a modern world where technology is so important, um, are electrical fires, are you seeing them an increase in electrical yeah, fires? More and more. Um, uh, there are other ways. People use uh, various ways of looking at their panels, maybe thermography so they can sense high temperatures. All these things are tended on a spot protection, so they may come along and do that check, then they might not go back for six months. The beauty of a system like this is it's in there all the time, 24 hours a day, checking for that. And of course, some processes are running literally 24-7. Uh, the, the, the way that we buy our food and our products now, we want things next day. Mm -hmm. So things are running flat out, where before we may have had a rest at the weekend, these things don't get a chance to rest now. So machines and panels, they're under a lot of duress. So the fact that we can monitor them constantly means we be on top of those and stop those problems. Fantastic. It's a brilliant product. So simple, but, you know, fantastic. Well, um, get down and see the guys here at Firetrace and uh, have a chat with Tim and he'll show you exactly what the product can do. Um, hope you are enjoying your day so far and uh, keep up the conversation with hashtag FireX.